Hello everybody, I'm Grim Chorizo and welcome to another edition of Wrestling Roundup. So back on this week's Raw, John Cena told Paul Heyman that he had till halftime to produce the beast Brock Lesnar or he would beat the crap out of Heyman instead of Lesnar. Well, when he's talking about halftime, he doesn't mean halftime of Raw. He means halftime of the football game that is also going on while Raw is going on. Anyways, Cena locks Heyman in a locker room and has the Great Khali block it off. Then at uh, about two hours after the show started, he gets him back out, brings him out to the ring, and it's about to beat him up, and then Brock Lesnar shows up. Yeah. Come on, Cena, don't be a bully. Be a star. So yeah, it's just mildly aggravating that they did the main event slot in the halftime of football slot. I think that's just stupid as hell. Naomi beat Cameron, and the only reason I'm talking about this is because during the match, Cameron forgot how to pin someone. In the last match of the evening, Roman Reigns defeated Seth Rollins cleanly before their match at Night of Champions this Sunday. Cleanly. What? So in the main event slot was Mark Henry rallying America. It's as bad as it sounds. It was terrible. He said the Pledge of Allegiance. No one came out. Nobody gave a shit. And yeah, it was really lame. Had to have been one of the lamest ending segments of Raw. On this week's NXT, Hideo Itami made his in-ring debut by defeating Justin Gabriel. So a few weeks ago I was ranting about, you know, WWE being not so good right now. And I still believe that. This week's Raw was terrible. So, I decided to watch TNA No Surrender this week. And it was awesome. So now, I will start covering TNA. So this week was like a special for TNA called No Surrender. Havoc became the number one contender for the Knockouts Championship by winning a battle royal. Samoa Joe retained the X Division title against Homicide. The Wolves won match three of the tag team title series by defeating the Hardys and Team 3D in a ladder match. And Lashley retained the TNA World title against Bobby Roode. I used to watch TNA and really liked it and then I just kind of stopped for a while and with WWE being at a low point, I mean, I can complain about it or I can look for alternatives. I'm still going to watch WWE, but TNA was much better this week. And when I say WWE, I don't mean NXT. NXT's its own thing to me, and it was awesome. NXT never lets me down. So the kickoff show for this Sunday's Night of Champions pay-per-view will be one hour long, and it was announced that Christian will host the Peep Show with guest Chris Jericho. Also, this Sunday's match against Randy Orton will be Chris Jericho's last match of this WWE run. WWE sent out a tweet teasing the next generation showing up on Monday. Not exactly sure what this means, but I would assume it has something to do with NXT stars, as they are booked for the next few weeks of Raw. At this week's TNA tapings, Brodus Clay made his debut. WWE 2K15 has been pushed back for the next-gen systems, the Xbox One and PS4, until November 18th. It will still be released on the Xbox 360 and PS3 on October 28th. Apparently, Sami Zayn and Justin Gabriel have been playing the bunny in the past few weeks. NXT stars Troy McLean and Kendall Sky were released from their contracts today. More releases are possible to show up, but those are the only two that have been announced. Rumor has it that Prince Devitt might make his debut on NXT by being in a tag team with Sami Zayn. And apparently, Brock Lesnar is not scheduled to be at the Raw after Night of Champions. No word on what this has to do with the outcome of the title match, but as of now, apparently he is not booked for the night after. I will just say if John Cena wins, I will just... So thanks for watching this week's episode of Wrestling Roundup. Let me know if you like the inclusion of the TNA recap, and I will keep doing it as I plan to watch it on a regular basis now. So thanks for watching. I'm Grim Chorizo, and I'll see you next week. Enjoy Night of Champions. Yeah.